Every face tells a different story, some defenseless, some forgotten, some just out of luck. Whatever caused their particular circumstance, the fact remains they need shelter. Battered women, homeless families, foster children, senior citizens. Prop 1C will build new shelters and affordable housing to help people when they need help the most. And it has an annual audit to make sure the money is spent properly. Yes on 1C, part of the one plan to rebuild California. So many misleading initiatives. Wouldn't it be nice to give them a lie detector test? Take I-892. They claim it's electronic scratch tickets, but they're really slot machines. They say it's a modest expansion of gambling, but it's 18,000 new slots at thousands of neighborhood locations. They claim you'll get a big tax cut, but out-of-state gambling corporations take 65% for themselves, then send what's left to Olympia. No on 892. No on the slot machine initiative. Paid for by the No on I-892 committee. In 1956, Dwight Eisenhower was president with a plan to build roads, bridges, and freeways. Since then, our population has more than doubled, but our transportation systems haven't kept up. Measure R is a countywide plan, the most comprehensive since the 50s. Imagine expanded mass transit and modernized freeways. Think about light rail to the airport and synchronizing traffic lights. Endorsed by the LA Times and Daily News. Yes on Measure R, the roadmap for traffic relief. As mayor, I'm committed to protecting you and your family against crime. But now I need your help to pass Proposition S and keep our city safe. Prop S closes a corporate tax loophole to help preserve anti-gang and crime prevention programs and make sure we have enough police, paramedics, and firefighters. Prop S has an annual audit to make sure the money is spent properly. Vote yes on Prop S. Help protect public safety. For all the things that divide Californians, something more important brings us together. Beyond political party, a shared commitment to keeping our families safe and secure. But if the legislature cuts another 13 billion from the budget this year, thousands of police officers, paramedics, and firefighters will be laid off, devastating public safety. That's why we're counting on our legislators to work together, stop the extreme cuts, and stand up for California. My family has been on this farm for a hundred years. I never thought that I would be more worried about health insurance than I am about floods, drought, or hail. But three years ago, we had to drop our health insurance because we couldn't afford it any longer. It's scary to think that we're just one accident or illness away from losing everything. In North Dakota, Blue Cross Blue Shield controls 90% of the market for health insurance. Without competition, the cost of insurance is rising out of reach for thousands of family farmers and small businesses. We need competition in North Dakota. More choices, more affordable plans. Only a public health insurance option can provide real competition with private insurers and keep them honest. We need Senator Conrad to stand up for us not the insurance companies. Senator Conrad, support the public health insurance option. Make health care more affordable for the rest of us. MoveOn.org political action is responsible for the content of this advertisement. When the Costa Mesa City Council laid off nearly half the city's workers, including firefighters and paramedics, they said they had no choice. But the fact is, they chose not to cut the city's top bureaucrats. 
giving $1.5 million in pay and perks to seven top officials and a $10,000 car allowance to the city manager. If you think Costa Mesa deserves better, tell the city council to make a better choice. Cancel the layoffs. Cut the perks instead.